when I grew up in the 70s, there was still a lingering thought that a woman's place is in the kitchen. However, I grew up with a Filipino father that was an executive chef and also a culinary artist. So we learned a passion for food and a passion for cooking, a celebration of life. And I'm going to take some of those recipes, some of those things that we grew up with, and I'm going to share them with you. Now let's look at today's menu. On the menu today is adobo chicken. Adobo chicken is a main staple in the island of the Philippines. There are several different ways that people make adobo in the Philippines, so it's kind of like pizza. You can add any ingredients that you like or take away any ingredients that you like in the same way with adobo. Now there is a certain base in it. Uh, you can actually make it a little bitter. You can make it, uh, most adobos are sweet. They have a sweetener. They either use sugar or they use sweet chili sauce. In my case, I use ketchup because we grew up making it with ketchup. Um, you can make it with beef, pork, chicken, fish, there's all kinds of different ways. Uh, the basic ingredients are garlic, uh, soy sauce, you have vinegar, and bay leaves. Now I've got one of the pan these pans that you can heat up without oil in it. And that's what I'm doing, checking for the heat right now. Put about uh, one to two tablespoons of oil in there and I'm just gonna spread it around. So basically I've let the pan get hot before I, let, I put the oil in there. Uh, you do need to let the oil get a little hot. What I'm going to do now is just toss in uh, one gar garlic clove. You can use two if you like. Um, and I'm just going to brown those that clove. So I've cut it up in slices as you can see. And I'll just give it a little push and turn it over and get both sides brown. Now you may um, want to go ahead and take that uh, the garlic cloves out whenever you brown the chicken. I didn't. Uh, the The garlic cloves actually got a little, the garlic clove got a little bit dark um, once I added the chicken in there and everything. I'll just show you what it looks like. Just brown the garlic. Um, now I'm going to add the chicken. The reason that you brown the chicken is because in this way of cooking the chicken, it will not get brown at all if you uh, if you uh, uh, do not brown it first. So that's uh, that's the reason why you're just kind of darkening that skin color um, and maybe that the reason uh, you see on the videos where they do not brown the chicken a lot of times they use a lot more grease they they're basically frying the chicken this method is not um, frying it at all so you fry it a little bit beforehand just to get the some coloration into the chicken I let the meat turn a little bit before I uh, you know go from pink to uh, more of a white color before I actually start adding ingredients. And uh, basically I should have been using tongs for this but uh, I was just uh, I actually get the tongs later on, but uh, after I realized that it's a little bit uh, too much, Jeff. Um, the thing with, uh, I don't cook this dish a lot anymore because of, of the diet that I'm on, but you notice that the pink is actually, if you notice that the, the meat is actually turning a little white. So I'm letting that get brown. Now you can brown it however you want it. If you want it dark, 
darker than that, you know, um, you can do that. Right now I'm adding onions to it. Now onions, uh, again, I just cut mine up uh, in big pieces and just enough to really spread around the dish. If you don't like onions and you don't want to see them, then go ahead and uh, mince those onions, uh, cut them up as finely as you want to. Use onion powder if you want to. Uh, I don't think, uh, for me, I, I just like it, the actual onion. I think it's more flavorful. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. And that's the kind of soy sauce I use. Notice that, okay, Jeff, you're not using any type of measuring utensil and uh, really dad never did so I don't and I'm gonna off maybe a tablespoon tablespoon and a, half and a half of vinegar you know whatever you're comfortable with you don't want to just douse it with a lot of vinegar though I'm gonna use two bay leaves here normally I actually normally would use less these are pretty good sized bay leaves I actually would you normally use less than that I've seen on uh, on other videos where they use three bay leaves so um, and there it is ketchup now ketchup of course uh, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of this um, I don't know if uh, if it is really traditional it may be that uh, it may be that uh, there are some places in the PI where they uh, use ketchup but <laughs> Every, every one video I've seen on it, they didn't use, uh, they did not use ketchup in it, so. And that's good because, you know, that I was looking for a video, you know, to give to somebody for this. And, and I couldn't find one that was really similar to the way that we make adobo. So I went ahead and, uh, and uh, made my own. Now, adobo generally is going to have vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic. Those are the main staples. It doesn't matter whether it's fish, pork, beef, you know. Uh, you, I do not add any sweetener to pork. If I'm doing pork adobo now, um, my mother will, and but every time I watch my dad do it, he doesn't, and it's a personal preference, you know. Uh, when you do when we do pork adobo we don't we do not uh my dad didn't and i don't either um add the uh any sweetener to that that's it uh, for now we're just going to let it steam and cook and you did i didn't mention earlier but uh once i was done frying the the or uh, not frying but browning the meat I would I actually turn the stove down to about three on my stove it's uh, but a medium low is basically now it's just gonna all gonna mix and steam and that type of thing about 25 minutes later once the chicken is done uh, you have the finished product you see me pouring a little juice onto the rice we're gonna add a little soy sauce mix that together and Voila, there you have it. It is um, with the soy sauce, I kind of jumped the gun. But uh, you've got the finished product, and well, enjoy.